Hey everybody, it's your boy Melvin from SneakerBomb17 from the Man Cave and I just wanted to bring you a quick look at the Air Jordan 13 Altitudes. Uh, this is a re-release from the original 2010 version and um, basically I'm just giving you a quick look at the 2017 version that released yesterday. So as you can see here, this is the new model. We did size 10 and a half. First off, the really interesting thing that I really think I love about this is that the box that they give us is almost like the original box that came with, if uh, all my Jordan heads remember, we used to have the 20 for the zero and the two here for the 20th anniversary of, of Jordan. So you used to have that. You saw also used to have retro cards. Um, I don't think this one has a retro card, but we'll see. Let's uh, pop this thing open here. For all of our you know, non-believers, this is a Nike receipt, so I actually did get this directly from Nike. 100% authentic, nothing fake. All right. And here we go. So this is just a quick version here. The side. There's the front. There's your Slana toe box right there. You can see this one has almost just like the original, how you have the texture on the sides here. You still got your texture there. Your hologram bubble here. Green uh, Jordan symbol here at the bottom. You still got your green along with the white in the middle here. Carbon fiber here. And then that glossy midsole here. Now the first thing I do notice, and I know a lot of people uh, talk about the quality, is that if you can see here, looks like there's a small little imperfection right about here. There's like a little bubble that's raised up there. I don't know if all of them have it, but that's a little bit weird. There's also here, there's some little scratch marks here. For your hits. So you can kind of get that. You can see that in the light there, definitely right there. Some scratch marks. This leather here feels really, really soft. One thing that I would say I'm hugely disappointed about is that they didn't have the mesh covering. I thought the mesh covering really really made this shoe look better you know so I'm just dis disappointed in that no mesh covering show you the bottom again they already come pre-laced let's see if there's anything interesting inside the actual shoe I know a lot of y'all get a kick out of seeing this here this is what your shoe tree looks like so average cardboard shoe tree. Let's see if we can find any markings in here. No real, uh, no real stamps or markings inside of the shoe tree. But if you look on the outside here, you will notice that you've got some markings and some stamps right along here. You've got the Jordan symbol right here. You've got more markings, more stamps. And then at the top here, you've also got this stamp here. Just to kind of just help you get a better look at those shoe aficionados out there. Yeah, shoe connoisseurs are very, very particular about whether your shoe is authentic, whether it's fake or not. By the way, we were just taking a look at the left shoe. So we'll take a look at the right shoe as well and see if it has that same imperfection or not. See if it matches or see maybe if it's just a manufacturer's defect. Also in other news, 
I heard that Jordan is actually going to be going back to not releasing as much so they're going to go back to being scarce which is probably much much better for resellers but at the same time it's better for the Jordan brand overall and the reason why I say that is it because it's going to get more people hype about it again you know it's going to get more people excited it's going to get more people really standing in lines again not too many people you know I know not too many people are still excited when it comes to Air Jordans and you know that's just because they they flooded the market you know they're not as hard to get anymore which used to be a good thing looks like on this one here you still have a little bit of creasing here looks like some scratch marks there looks like the glue here is not as well done I mean, that's not a deal breaker. Nobody should really, really be in your foot that much. It does not look like they have that defect for the bubble on this side. This side is absolutely smooth. So you don't have that same defect that you had in the other ones. So this, this leather grain here is pretty smooth. That little pebble leather on this side, it's smooth as well. You don't have any of those defects. So that's another good thing. And this is the right shoe here. And then if you can see inside of here, basically all you have is just your green jump, man. So nothing, nothing special about the, about the inside of the shoe, just a green jump man there, along with your size tag sticker there as well. Let's see here regular white tissue paper not double wrapped or anything like that I know sometimes you'll get those double wrappings again just for my big shoe geeks this is the inside of the box I know a lot of times you'll see like the quality control stamping but it looks like there's no quality control stamping on the box at all here again this pair is directly from Nike so but you don't see any of that you don't have any of that uh, in this pair here so all right that was your look at the Jordan 13 altitudes like I said these released yesterday on the 21st so if you were thinking about going to go get those definitely a nice shoe I'd probably say not too much for me though uh, the mesh is really really killing me I thought the mesh was a was a much better look uh, especially when they first released in uh, 2010 so that's really killing me these uh I used to wear the original pair with the Ninja Turtle t-shirts you know a lot of black and green you don't get too many uh, t-shirts and things like that that will have that type of green accent into it unless you get something with the actual shoe on it and I always thought that was pretty lame or a fashion cop out if you were just wearing a t-shirt that just had the shoe up there really didn't show any fashion sense but uh for everybody this go around Ninja Turtle t-shirt